Hey fellas, are you ready to play? Well, if you are, then hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video from us. And don't forget to check out our booth because as you can see, it's getting around this spooky season. We're going to have a lot of free and paid items for this upcoming Halloween, but also the fall season in general. So don't forget to check out the links below in the description box. Uh, this is Angelette, and as promised, I'm coming with another beginner tutorial for Heroid Studio. It's, uh, today we're going to be learning all about parameters. Parameters are very easy to use, but it's a very essential part of building in Heroid Studio. It's going to come in handy when it comes to building your outfits, but also shaping and molding your character to be exactly how you want them to be so without further ado let's get into the video so majority of your editing categories have uh, parameters except for a few um, right now we're in the face parameters the face sets you can edit every part of the face with the parameters you see to the right it's all grouped together in this one area uh, you can scroll through it and find every part of the face that you can edit right here. And as you see, as I keep going, it's a very long list and it um, can get tedious to look through each part uh, from here. But you can edit everything about the eyes. Now, if you just want to edit uh, the whole eye without the rest of the face, you can click the eye sets and you'll find everything just pertaining to the eyes instead of including the nose, the mouth, the ears. But if you want to even go even uh, more organized, you can go into things like the irises. And as you see, it'll narrow it down to just all the pre parameters that have something to do with the iris, as you see. And you can click through um, each of these uh, categories and find which things have the parameters. Like you see the eyebrows have parameters, whereas the whites of the eyes and the highlights did not. Um, so I just, you know, look through each category and uh, if you want to narrow it down, then you can click the categories that are pertaining, pertaining to the face, such as the nose, the mouth, uh, and things of that nature. Essentially how parameters work is you're going to drag the toggles either to the right or to the left and as you see they affect uh, parts of your Vroid model. Right now we're messing with the iris parameters and as you see you can change the gaze, the si size of the iris on the y and x axis as well as the gaze distance and each uh, item has its own unique parameters like this the ones that are allowed to have the parameters and as you see this is changing the entire size of I mean the size of the entire eye now the hairstyle you're gonna notice it does not have any parameters because when it comes to styling hair it's a totally different process so there's no parameters here at all you'll um, have to make hairstyles by editing hairstyle the body, uh, as I showed in the previous video, tutorial video, there are parameters and it affects parts of the body. As you see, you can make the head really big here or very small, um, depending on what kind of model you are making, then this becomes very useful. As we go into the outfit category, you can see here that the outfits also have their own sets of parameter. But um, the interesting part about outfits are that depending on how many templates is in one outfit, then you can edit the parameters for each template and you'll probably understand more what I'm talking about when we get into editing the texture. But basically the outfits are made up of different outfit templates. Um, and here I'm just going to show you how parameters affect outfits of Vroid models. So some of them, some of the uh, toggles do not affect the Vroid 
of it at all and this has something to do with the way that the texture is done because some parts may be transparent so they do not uh, the effect that the toggle has on it is not actually showing but as you see uh, as we expanded the bodysuit and the shirt increased in size and I'm gonna show you a little bit of how it works on uh, the bottoms as well it's a similar process uh, similar thing I feel like this outfit doesn't have too much detail in it to just show more into detail what the parameters do when it comes to clothes so I'm switching over to a different shirt to show you what parameters does to things like sleeves or the shoulders so now we increase the sleeve thickness as you can see here and as I mess with the shoulder padding then it gave it a pointier different look so each of these toggles are going to affect the clothes in a different way and it's very interesting to play around with them and get used to what they do and they help build unique outfits. So as you see it changes something about each part. Now I'm going to show you an example of pants just to give you an idea of how parameters affect clothes but as you're seeing uh, you should be starting to see how you can make some pretty unique uh, outfits with just using parameters and then if you mix that with texture editing you can make very interesting things the dresses also have um, parameters but this will give you uh, a better uh, understanding or show you how there are two templates used in one so as you see as I adjust the skirt flare uh, it's only affecting the red part of the dress the red skirt part of the dress and that's because it's two different templates used and you can edit both templates so as you see now the red part of the dress has went behind the black part and that's because this is layered with uh, two different templates or maybe even more and you see this is affecting the upper part of her dress now so I'm bringing like the lace in front of uh, some of it just using the increase the body bulk because this was made using a bodysuit which uh, you will understand more unless you're already familiar with it and, um, we get into making outfits with your so now I'm gonna scroll I'm scrolling through it and in order to find the other template as you see I don't know if you noticed but the list sort of repeated and that's because I believe this is made out of the same template and usually to find the second one then it will repeat uh, the list will repeat and that's how you know that the um, second template has started and you can find the parameters for the next part of the course uh, and I'll show you a quick example with shoes to show you how each outfit has its own set of parameters outfit piece uh, so some have more and some have less so don't expect every parameter to work the same as you see with the shoes there are only two parameters you can adjust which is basically higher and lower sole I mean like just opposite of each other but one thing I wanted to show is something that I struggled with when I first started Vroid. I used to get frustrated that um, I thought that I was limited to where the toggles went up or down, like the stint. But you can actually type in a value of your own, uh, higher or lower. So as I write something higher, you see the soles of the shoes really get up high. And this helps... Uh, pretty much break the limitations of uh, the toggles like you don't have to just stick to how far the toggles go if you want it higher you can make it higher as well as if you want it even lower you can Which, uh, sometimes if you put it too far as you see it causes a crazy effect on it rather than a nice effect um, I'm gonna show you again with the dress here as you see it's the um, 
skirt. I lengthen it and then shorten it. Uh, I'm gonna find the black part of the dress like I told you before. Uh, they're both together but usually if it's the same template it's just when the list restarts. So the skirt length we're gonna put negative 900. <laughs> You see, some, uh, sometimes it doesn't look nice, so uh, you want to be careful with how much you adjust it. But as I put negative 90 now, you see how it did the opposite of the intended purpose of the skirt length. So if you put a negative in front of it, it's going to do the opposite of the intended purpose of the parameter. So the purpose of this parameter is obviously to make the skirt longer. If you put negative in a number, then it's going to go in the opposite direction. And then if you want it to go longer, you're going to essentially just boost up the number. Just type in a value. It's a very simple process. And basically, that is all there is to parameters. But it is a very essential part when you're building a B-Roid. Um, so I just encourage you to just mess around with the parameters. Boost up the numbers. Put negatives. Just really test the limitations of V-Roid. Because uh, Vroid Studio, with me, in my opinion, uh, can do a whole lot. It's not as limited as it seems if you use your creativity. So just a recap on the parameters really quickly. Most, each item has its own set of parameters. Uh, some have more, some have less. Essentially, what you're going to do is just move the toggles to the right or to the left. Uh, bring in the value up or down. Um... But you don't have to stick within the limitations of the toggles. Type in your own value. Uh, when it comes to outfits, there are sometimes more templates on it. So you're going to have to scroll through all of those parameters and find which ones match for each part of the outfit. And basically, that's how it works. And I hope that this has been helpful to someone who is just beginning um, your studio. Because believe it or not, some of this stuff is actually confusing when you first open v -Roid and it looks more confusing than it actually is. So that wraps up the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please share this video. Please support a growing uh, channel. And again, don't forget to check out the booth and all our very cool free and paid assets. And don't forget to check out our other videos on this channel. See you in the next one.